Hey, game makers! You know when MB takes out features you need to do cool stuff? And then requires you to do extra work to make things, well, work the way you wanna? That's kind of this tutorial. Today we'll be making a picture-based book thingy. Basically, a book item that will show the book as pictures we can select and flip through. I had this as an item in one of my games, so I figured, how hard could it be on MB? Gotta say, MB's lack of transitions by default made this really inconvenient. Cause you know, I can't settle for just okay. I need to do things my way. Quick note, I'll be using the Picture Wipe plugin to get the page flip effect I want. Now first off, create our book item. We'll probably want consumable on no, and occasion set to menu screen. Under effects, have it set to a book common event. Ours will be called GMA book. Now over to common events. To be able to do this the way I wanted to, we'll be using not one, not two, not even three, but four common events! Though this is mostly just to be able to call the entire event easier instead of just rewriting it all the time. We'll be calling them GMA book. In the GMA book, left, right, jump, page turn, and page transitions. Let's start with the easy one. GMA book. This is the common event our item will call. It will ask if the player wants to open the book, show choices yes, no. If yes, we'll play a page turn sound. We're going to need a variable, in this case called page number. We'll be using this to determine which page of the book we're on. Now, regarding the actual page pictures we'll be using. For this example, we'll be using the size of our screen resolution to save from having to adjust the X, Y, and scaling stuff. To do it the way we'll be doing it, it requires a base image, this will show when switching between pages, and a picture for each page you'll have. We'll be using 0 as a cover, and 5 will be the last page. We're going to show our page base image as picture number 10. This number is completely arbitrary, I just use it because I use pictures 1 through 9 for other things. As long as this number is lower than your actual page picture number, you'll be fine. Now, we're gonna have our base image fade in first, for prettiness. So after we select it, the only thing we'll want to change is the opacity to zero. Click OK. Next, we're going to make a move picture command and set it to picture number 10. Here, we're just going to change the opacity back to 255. The rest of the default settings are fine for this example, so click OK. Next, we'll be showing our starting page, so page zero, the cover. We're going to show picture and show page zero as picture number 11. All default settings are fine, click OK. Now, here we'll be implementing that plugin I mentioned. Create a plugin command. The code is picture wipe, the picture number, the direction it's wiping, whether we're wiping the page in or out, and the frame count. So we'll be typing in picture 11, and we want it wiping to the left. We're showing the picture, so in, and 60 frames is fine, and that's all. If you're using this plugin, note that the plugin commands have to be after the show picture command, or they won't take effect. Next, we'll put in a wait for 60 frames to make sure the wipe is finished, and turn on a switch. We're calling it in a book. Very creative, I know. <laughs> to recap, you use the item, it calls this, and this asks you to open the book. It sets the page number to zero, sets up the first pictures, and turns on a switch. Next common event, in the book. We'll want the trigger set on auto run, and set to turn on with switch in the book. We're doing this so the player can't move while they're reading the book. Now, this feels backwards to me, but we'll need to order it like this for it to work properly. Create a conditional branch. If variable page number equals zero, show picture number 11, or page zero graphic, and again, default settings are fine. After this, we'll call our next two common events, page transitions first, and left, right, jump, page turn second. We'll go over these in a bit, but first, copy this branch and paste it underneath for every number of page you have and make sure to change the page number variable in the conditional branch and the picture image to whichever page it is. With those all in, we'll need two more page number conditional branches. For this example, we'll be allowing the player to flip between the pages, so we'll need to ensure the player doesn't go out of the page range. In our example, we only have pages 0 to 5, so our next conditional branch will be if our page number variable is equal to or greater than 6, or whichever number is after your final page, we'll use control variables to set the page number back to zero. Similarly, in the next one, if page number equals minus one, set the page number variable to five. So if we try going back from page zero, it'll take us to the last page. And if we go past the last page, it'll take us back to the start. 
Alternatively, you can reset these to the final page and first page numbers respectively, to prevent the player from moving further back or forward instead of having the book loop. That's all for setting the pages. Next, we'll have yet another conditional branch here. We're going to bring up a menu. If the cancel button is pressed to close the book, pick a page, or do nothing. If the player chooses close book, we'll use another plugin command to wipe the picture away and wait 60 frames again. Since we faded the base image in, we'll be using another move picture command to fade picture 10 out, so changing the opacity to zero and all of the default settings. Next, we'll erase both pictures 10 and 11 and turn the switch in the book off, so that'll exit the event. If the player wants to select a specific page, we'll use number input. Have the variable set to page number, and however many digits your page count is. We have less than nine pages, so one digit is fine for this example. If you want more info on input number, you can go check out this video where I kinda explain it a bit more. Anyway, we're going to set another plugin command, but this time, since we're jumping between pages, we're going to set it to up instead of left to be different, and out because we're wiping it out. Again, wait 60 frames. We'll be turning on a switch we're calling jump page, and then calling our next common event, left right jump page turn. Lastly, under do nothing, we're putting a 20 frame wait command so poor little MB doesn't get laggy and confused. Cause it seems to do that. To our next common event! Conditional branches continue! <laughs> this common event will control our page turning. Conditional branch, when left button is pressed, we're going to play our page turn sound effect. We're going to turn on a switch called pressed left. We'll get back to that. Next, we'll control our page number variable and have it set to sub 1, since we're going back a page. We'll also be setting our if page number is more and less than x branches again here, the ones we use to loop back to the beginning or ending pages. Under end of this little section, we'll set our screen wipe, left and out, and then waiting 60 frames. We'll be repeating this for if the right button is pressed, and exchanging the switch with the new one pressed right. Lastly, we'll be changing our page wipe to right as well, so the page turns the right way. Then more waits. Last common event, I swear! This will control the page turn effects. First conditional branch, if switch pressed left is on, we'll have the picture wipe show, wiping it right, waiting 60 frames, and then turning our pressed left switch back off. We're doing this so we can show the picture with the effect and not have it continuously retry to show the dumb page turn effect. Again, repeat this for pressed right, switch the picture to wipe left, and turn off the pressed right switch. We'll also be doing this for our jump page switch, that gets triggered when we switch a page. For this one, we'll have the wipe show down, to counter the up from earlier, and lastly, turn off the jump page switch. And that is all! <laughs> to recap again, our first common event will open the book, our second common event will run the event. When a page is switched to, it will play our page transitions event, which will show the page wipe effect in the correct direction, and if left or right are pressed, will activate the left, right, jump, page, turn event. If cancel is pressed, it'll prompt us to leave. Select a page or do nothing. And that's all! You can totally trip this out in any kind of way you want, but this is just my take on a picture-based book item, and I'm sure there are other ways to do it. But I wanted my pretty picture switchy effect, darn it! Speaking of effects, I totally tripped out my Patreon page and made it super pretty, so you should totally take a look at it. Anyway, till next time! I'll see you later, gamers!